As you might have read already, Stability AI have yet another license. This page details some key points of their community license, with the main thing being it looks like I can now make videos and have commercials on them as well. Yay! Apparently they fixed the license and what it looks like now is that if you're a business with annual revenues which exceed 1 million US dollars, which is around 780,000 in real money, though when it comes to things like licenses, don't take my word for it as I'm just a nerd and do check these things for yourself. So with the license news out of the way, it means we can now take a quick look at Stable Diffusion 3 in action versus Pixar Sigma and see if it does have any uses after all. The actual model itself hasn't changed as yet, it's only the license, so for now it is still a bit pants. It does have its uses however, and if you stay within a really limited subject and style range, some of the images can be pretty good. A little bit on the setup here before I go into the good, the bad and the potentially ugly. I'm running everything locally here in Comfy UI and if you'd like to do the same but don't know where to start, then I suggest checking out my Comfy UI playlist first. You'll learn not only how to install Comfy UI but also some workflow basics. If you need, start out with the simpler workflows and then build up from there. Links are in the video description. For this workflow then way over to the left and out of the way, I've got the Stable Diffusion 3 model loader, an empty latent and the negative prompt as well, all very standard stuff. Stable Diffusion 3 generation is using DEIS just because it's new and I like new stuff. It's got the light background and is the first image in the various outputs. For PixArt Sigma generation, it's the XL21024MS model, and to save loading a different T5 model, this lovely PixArt T5 from SD3 clip node means I can just use the Stable Diffusion 3 model for PixArt as well. Very handy node. I'm using the new Euler CFG++ sampler with PixArt, which, interestingly enough, doesn't seem to play too well with Stable Diffusion 3 for new image generations, unless you turn the guidance scale way down to 0.1. Anyway, I've got refiner and high res fix options underneath as well, as Stable Diffusion 3 does seem to make a fairly decent refiner. No refiners to start with though, just Stable Diffusion 3 versus PixArt with a whole range of subjects and styles. No batches, each model just gets one go to get it right and no backsies. The first generation is a badly drawn cow, so let's have a look at both outputs. Okay, we've got both images there. Let's have a little zoom in on those. So that's Stable Diffusion 3, PixArt Sigma there. Which one do you think is the most badly drawn crayon cow? For prompt number two, I'm harking back to the PixArt Sigma webpage where they've got a photorealistic video of two pirate ships battling inside a cup of coffee. Over in Comfy UI, I'm doing something similar. There, I've got a photograph of two tiny pirate ships battling inside a cup of coffee. How will each model do? Taking a look at the final results then, certainly for me, it is Stable Diffusion 3, mostly because both of the ships are inside the coffee, whereas over here, we've got ships flying around in space. Prompt number three, then I'm looking for a cubist art style kangaroo druid in the forest. The outputs then for our cubist art style kangaroo druid with soft pastel shades. And as you can see, PixArt Sigma does indeed have those soft pastel shades, but Stable Diffusion 3 has this sort of crispy, really bold, vivid color look, which is why I say it has sort of two styles, basically. It's got photorealistic, those are okay, and photorealistic painting, which is that sort of style. Try to do anything outside those two, and it just won't work. We've also got a third ear there, or a little spiky bit on top of the head, so Lots of animals I generate, obviously rodents, and they all seem to have this third ear, this little sort of ice cream quiff in the middle of their head. So yeah, sorry Stable Diffusion, but that is a big failure. We'll see the same sort of thing here with prompt number four. So this time I want a paper cut art style. Got a little rodent wizard emerging from a vortex of energy there. I do want the bold colors this time, and hopefully there'll be some sort of 3D effect, yes? Well, yes, if you're Pixar, to no, if you're Stable Diffusion 3. As you can see, it's utterly failed to do a paper cut style. 
Another little difference between the two models then here with prompt number five. So we'll do this first one, which is a pencil art sketch of a fantastic car from the future. And then I'm going to add some text to the end. So let's have a look at these first generations. And then we've got our futuristic cars. So I'm going to change the prompt and then I'm just adding a little bit of text on the end. So I'm just saying the shading and line work is top notch. Shadows really bring the image to life. Now, when I run it again, you should see that rather than changing into completely different pictures, both of them have just changed a little tiny bit. If Stable Diffusion 3 has two styles which are crisp and crisp, then maybe a 3D render will look good. Let's find out. Unfortunately, once again, you can see Stable Diffusion 3 has gone for the realism, whereas Pixar Sigma does indeed have our 3D style. How about something that should be really easy then? Do you remember Stable Diffusion 1.5 and the Art Nouveau thing? Anyway, here I want an Art Nouveau style woman holding a blue box in one hand and a red ball in the other. If you guessed that Stable Diffusion 3 would produce its style, then you're completely correct. There's absolutely no Art Nouveau whatsoever in there. So even though the Pixar Sigma image isn't necessarily as good looking as that one, it is a little bit more Art Nouveau than whatever that is. Let's go even more generic then. How about a pixel art waterfall at midnight flowing into a steampunk aqueduct? The final outputs then, and once again, I much prefer PixArt Sigma. Stable Diffusion 3, I don't even know what's going on there. There seems to be no essence of steampunk. It's got the midnight and the waterfall, but I don't know. I just much prefer that image from PixArt Sigma. Now, I could go on with a whole load more styles, but hopefully you get the gist. For the most part, Stable Diffusion 3 has two styles, photographic realism or a slightly more painting style realism. What it can do, it can do quite well. It's got some of the best prompt understanding and text generation I've seen, for example. It's just there's so much it can't do, such as different styles and humans in various poses. How about as a refiner then? Well, again here I got a mostly 50-50 result. So let's start off with a photo of a rodent wizard holding a book with a picture of a cow on the front of it. Now obviously that's usually pretty difficult. Having a thing holding a thing with a picture on the front of the thing doesn't really work. Four of them then this time. So that is the plain Stable Diffusion 3 output and the plain PixArt Sigma outputs that we've already been looking at. But then down the bottom here, that one is used as a refiner. And then there is the high res fix as well. So if we have a look at the PixArt thing over here, so I've got number of steps 40. So that does 40 steps on the PixArt. And then down here in the refiner, it starts at step 40 and then carries on up to step 66. So another 26 steps on top of that PixArt Sigma generation. If we have a look at both of these guys down here. So what we can see is obviously the cow on the front of the book there is much more prominent. With the original one, it looks a bit more like a chicken or something really weird, and we haven't got all this detail on the face. So using it as a refiner does mean that you get the more photographic style, of course, but it does mean you can get it to follow the prompts a little bit better, and maybe you want that slightly more photographic style. As well as putting cows on the fronts of books and making things into a more photographic style, you can also improve text as well. So here I've got a painting of a red box with the word no cats on the front, which is, of course, something that PixArt Sigma can't do at all. The results then and the original Stable Diffusion has done very well. So that's the photographic painting style I'm talking about. And there is the original PixArt Sigma. And of course, this can't do text at all. I mean, it's close. It's got some squiggles in there. But once we get through to the refiner, we can see it's got no on that vase, which is close to what that one said. And the bottom word is cats. So it has actually fixed the text. And with the high res fix, it's even better, much clearer there with the no cats. Although we are starting to get some artifacting with that turning into flowers. A pencil art sketch is the next one. I'm meant to have a bloke on the left and a woman on the right. And the guy should have a rodent t-shirt. Let's find out how these do. Here is an example of both sharpening and getting it to follow the prompt a little bit better. The uh, Stable Diffusion 3 image there does look really cool, but we're looking more at the refine. So we've got the original Pixar image there. 
And then I've got the refiner and high res fix, but I've also got an extra one down here just to really burn it in. So now it does get the rodent on the t-shirt. So I've got a really high number of steps, a very high CFG, 0.3 is very high in this case, and quite a high denoise. Now, even though it is burnt, he has got the rodent on his t-shirt, so it's followed the prompt a bit better. And for this sort of black and white pencil style, I don't mind it. I mean, comparing the two, that one looks quite good and that one looks a bit faded, but of course it's up to you. Doing the same sort of thing with the image we generated earlier on No Cats one. So here it is completely burnt. It's added some cool details to the mirror. So there's the old mirror and that looks a lot more shiny now, but that, that is essentially the Stable Diffusion 3 style. That's what every Stable Diffusion 3 image looks like this this sort of crispy style. So it has got a little bit of potential as a refiner. It can add some detail. And if you want to add that sort of style to your images, then it's a very good choice. Overall, then a very limited model, but it can do some things. And at least we've got a slightly better license now. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Ooh, nerdy rodent. He really makes my day. Showing us AI in a really British way.